So, I didn't actually skip my video last week. I made one. I just haven't put it up yet. It was a little weird. It was a lot of profanity. You know, so I thought I'd make another one first. And so, anyways. So, I did a stupid maneuver. I was drunk the other night. <laughs> and I went in and kind of shaved my right eyebrow off. So, I kind of watch some tutorials, and you know, if you can't laugh at yourself, you know, whatever. Anyway, so I started to draw my eyebrows on. And they look a little bit more feminine. I do this whole Harley Quinn thing with my nails. <laughs> my feet, too, like. Yep. So, anyways, I'm just chilling out. Everything's still going on point. Everything's changing and everything's getting better. Everything's, you know, you know, chilling. So, um, I got my first hatred the other night. Just coming back from the liquor store. Had my headphones in. I thought about all this stuff, you know, like what I was going to do, what was going to happen. I kind of. I was glad it finally happened because until then I didn't know how I react and everything was going so good, you know, everybody's been so nice to me. But uh I was walking along with my headphones in coming from the liquor store and it was dark, it was night and I crossed over in the intersection and all of a sudden I heard some yelling and I turned my headphones down a little bit and some guy was yelling out of his car behind me that I was a he see and the old deviant man, queer, and all the things that happened to me, and I kind of just, I didn't slow down, I didn't speed up, I didn't stop, I didn't look, I just kind of kept going, and I loosened up my purse, because, you know, I carry a, I carry a baton with me, I have for a few years now, um, because I won't carry a gun. I'm done with those, pretty much. And uh, I just made sure my baton was in the right spot. He came back, because he peeled out behind me. And I was like, if he comes back, circles around, I'm going uh, you know, let him know why he shouldn't be intimidating me on the sidewalk. But he never did, you know. But So I managed to react with grace and acuity and just make sure I was ready or something followed up on and just kept going which I was worried about you know because before I started transitioning hormones that you know somebody started yelling and screaming at me from the car window I'd uh, set my stuff around turned around and been like yo <laughs> what do you want you know but uh I just feel like I don't have to do that now. It's weird. Like, my whole brain is strange, you know. But I still was prepared for the eventuality that if he didn't get a rise and thought he'd get out, would pull up on the sidewalk and get out of his car and walk up on me. And I was like, well, I was prepared for that, too. But that didn't happen. It was just weird. It kind of hurt my feelings a little bit, but, you know. I kind of expected it being transgender and living in a neighborhood in a place where I'm highly visible and I'm not slowing down because of it and I'm not toning it down when I go out. And the worst can happen is somebody can yell at me and like they did and I can handle it like I didn't even notice. And if somebody gets up in my face and puts their hands on me, then... Well, that's another story. But, you know, I'm not going to be abused. You know, and I'm not going to be afraid. I'm not going to go anywhere. But it was kind of nice to get it out of the way for the first time because everybody's been so damn nice to me that I was like, am I living in some strange universe? You know, I'm like, you know, what, what's going on here? You know, why isn't nobody being mean to me? So it was kind of nice to get it out of the way. You know, and uh, 
And so from now on, you girls drawing their eyebrows on. I didn't get them quite right, but I got some boxer scars here, and it makes my one eyebrow. Even before I shave them, I always make my one eyebrow sit a little bit higher than the other. You know, so. Anyways, that's my update. I'm going to put the video from last week up. I was walking around and talking to, like, prostitutes and telling weird stories and stuff. And there's some profanity, so I kind of, like, was like, mm, I wasn't sure how I felt about it. You know, about putting it up. But I swore to myself that I would not edit and I would not redo and I would not delete. So I just wanted to preface it with this first video. And now I'm going to do a... I'm gonna probably do Liberty from the Grateful Dead this week. Because I ain't done nothing for a couple of weeks. I was just kind of chilling. With my transformation. Feeling really good. And I feel more and more comfortable every day. And I don't know, it's weird. Like, I feel more comfortable. And I don't always feel like I have to do everything right away. And I don't know. Like, my whole brain orientation has changed. Like, even like with goals and tell myself I'm going to do stuff. And then I tell myself, well, you know, you shouldn't have to feel like you have to do stuff. It should be whenever. And, you know, then I tell myself, well, you know, I really need to go get my teeth fixed. And I'm like, but I should feel good without feeling like I have to get my teeth fixed. So I've been putting off doing my paperwork because of that, because I want to. I'm almost at a point where I feel really, really good regardless, and I'm just going to get my secrets. Because it's, I've decided it shouldn't really matter to me. Those kind of things, you know? And, and dealing with the internal dialogue and self-image and all that kind of stuff. You know, I know this video probably for tone and energy and volume and everything is a little bit different. But like I said, things have been changing on me a little bit more. You know, and I got my next vocal coach appointment on Tuesday. Hopefully this time he's going to go over actual techniques with me instead of a bunch of useless paperwork and questions ain't no his business and all the rest of it. And maybe by the time you see me next week, I'll sound a little different. Which would be really cool because I look different, I feel different. I just don't sound different. You know? It'll be nice when I start to sound different. You know, I got breasts and curves and my body's changing and my coordination's off because my body's changed enough for my coordination to be off for the first time in years. And it's frustrating because I'm an extremely physical person. You know? So it'd be tripping and stumbling and banging my shins and dropping stuff. And, and it's just like... What is going on with me? You know, but it'll be cool. It'll all straighten up. I started working out again, doing martial arts again, and dancing and different things. So I'm working on trying to get my body used to changes and bust my coordination with it so that I'm not awkward and whatever. You know, so, anyways, until next time, babies, be good. If you're out there watching, I hope that you feel good about yourself and you can do the right thing, which is whatever you want. You can be whatever you want to be. Bye.